My memories of Christchurch are really the old Christchurch. You could just get around the city. It was a very easy city to get around, bus and bicycle. I remember when uh, my grandparents came up from Dunedin, they would take us to the beach, but the beach was like New Brighton, but it was such a long way away from, from Papua Nui in those days. I remember the town hall being built. I think I must have been about 14 when I went to the open day for the town hall. If you had a, access to a car, which I didn't always have in those, those early years, but later on, always for a drive up into the Port Hills. It's the only earthquake I've ever got under a table for. It was big. I hadn't realised how much damage it had done in the centre of the city. I had my cell phone with me and I rang my husband and I was just so lucky it went straight through. So I knew he was okay. I walked home with one of the women I worked with. She handed me her cell phone and her other granddaughter who'd been in town had sent a, a text through to her grandmother to say, buildings are down, people are dead and dying. And so, of course, not to say anything in front of the young granddaughter, she just handed me the phone and that was, that was the shock. And I do reflect on the scale of the CTV building, you know, 115 of the 185 people died in one place. Whenever I bring international visitors up here, I always say to them, you can see why we are the Garden City. And you can, because you know our forebears had the wisdom of setting aside all of that space, Hagley Park, the Botanic Gardens, for the preservation of generations to come. They were really thinking about our future as a city when they made that decision. Our city is now very open to new ideas, new people and new ways of doing things. If we could embed that sense of creativity and innovation, then this is going to be a pretty exciting place in the future as well. So when did you last visit Christchurch?